everyone. It's Angela Bliss with Angie's Art Asylum. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, we are going to do a 14 by 14 canvas. Um, I've got it on some push pins and got some plastic down in my kitchen. Hopefully we won't make a huge mess, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to do a Mina Viegas um, inspired pour. Um, and I've used some of her colors she used in one of her last videos. I mixed this Amsterdam per Permanent Blue Violet with this uh, Folk Art Antique Copper to get the purple we're going to use today. And it's really quite beautiful. It's got little gold flecks in it. Um, I, I mixed titanium, titanium White Amsterdam uh, and some Deco Art Satin Enamel Pure White for my white. I've got some Lucas Krill Studio Impression Blue. I've got the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in gold. The magic ingredient. And I have Turquoise Cobalt uh, by Golden. It's a heavy body paint. Really pretty turquoise color. And um, this is a 14 by 14 canvas. Um, if you multiply 14 by 14 and then divide it by 28, you get seven. So I need seven ounces of paint for this canvas. Um, I've marked my cup. This is a 16 ounce cup. I've kind of marked it at about the eight ounce range. So um, I will fill it up to about there and we will get started. Uh, first I'm gonna do the Prussian blue. And then a little white. And then we'll come in with the purple. going to go back with the white. I feel like my gold's a little too thick, but I guess we'll we will see. And then blue again. And some gold. A little bit. I've got a lot in there already. purple and then I'm going to skip the other white I'm going to do turquoise and blue And I've went over my line, but so we shall have plenty of paint. I'm going to do a little white on the top. There. And then the colors we have left, I'll just add a little bit of uh, water. So I'm going to add a little water to this right now. So that we can put a little gold underneath the bottom. Hope you guys are doing well today. It is hot today here uh, in East Tennessee. And 
much rather be in here than outside, that's for sure. Okay, so a little more than I needed in there, so um, we're just going to make a little puddle right here in the middle. This gold. way a little bit. Even a little more white, so uh, put a little white in here with some to this turquoise, some of this purple. Let's do that. Mm, let me. Wanted to get a little more of that. Going to add a little water um, to this gold or a little extender.
trim on this end. Try to walk that down. Bring it back. I'm going to go down here on this end. I do not like that center that I put in there, so I'm probably just going to let it kind of come down and fall off. Doing a lot of stretching, so this gold that I put down is gonna. We're gonna have a few cells come up. Rather beautiful, actually. Um, so that is the finished wet result. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed this pour. I'm going to be doing. I just dripped in it, so hopefully, I can fix that. Um, so yeah, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I love this gold on the edges. Um, and the way these fan out in different areas, um, I think it's quite beautiful. So, I'm going to take these gloves off and uh, turn you guys off. And as always, there will be a dried result. Please leave a comment, share, subscribe if you have not hit that notification bell. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Bye for now. Okay, guys, it's the dried result uh, of the pour. I had extra paint left, so I wanted you guys to see this. It's really quite a pretty little little painting. Little, um, little cute little, it's got a little bit of uh, shimmer on it. This, this is pretty. purples just the purple is amazing and the gold came out at the bottom there was a little bit of muddiness that happened with the gold but it's really pretty that drop that I dropped in it I left it it's pretty cool um, but yeah very very beautiful I love it so thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more interesting pours. I appreciate you being here. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, let me know what you think of it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.